Hey everyone, welcome back to the WinQT AI channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create stunning images using Leonardo AI's image to image feature. Whether you're an artist, a content creator, or just someone who loves playing around with visuals, this tutorial is going to be super helpful. So let's get started. First things first, you need to head over to Leonardo AI. I've conveniently left the link in the description below so you can check it out later. Once you're there, sign up for an account. Just click on Create Account and follow the steps. After signing up, you'll be directed to the Leonardo AI dashboard, which is packed with incredible tools like the Image Generation Tool, Real-Time Canvas Editor, and even Motion and Real-Time Generation. Pretty exciting, right? Before we dive into creating our own images, let's take a quick tour. Scroll down and you'll see the Community Generation section. This is where you can browse through images created by other users. Suppose you want to create a similar image to this girl. You just need to click on her image and a new tab will open. Here you can see the entire prompt used to create this image, the time the image was created, the Leonardo AI model used, and all related factors. You can also download the image by clicking on the download button, naming it, and saving it to your computer. Now suppose we want to create a similar image using this image as a guide. We will click on the Generate with Photo button. By doing so, all the settings and elements of the image will be automatically imported, helping us get better results. But if you don't want to use an existing image from the community, then you need to go back to the main interface, scroll down to the User Tools section, and click on Image Generation. This will take you to the same tab, but since I want to import the elements of the pre-generated image, I will use the first method. In the top left corner, you will see the number of Leonardo AI coins. Each time you create an image, you will have to spend a certain amount of coins. The number of coins you have will reset daily, and the number of coins you receive each day depends on the plan you are using. In the free plan that I'm using, you will get 150 coins per day, so use them wisely or upgrade to a paid plan to increase the number of coins. Here you can select the number of images you want to create. Note that the more images you choose to generate, the more coins you will spend. I'll set it to four images. Then we have models like Photoreal and Alchemy, which are Leonardo AI models that help create better final results. Next, there is the Public Images option, which when turned on, will display your created images publicly in the Community Generations tab. To turn this feature off, you need to upgrade to a paid plan. Then there are image dimensions, where you can choose the size of the image you want to create. Finally, there are advanced options where you can change the aspect ratio of the photo. This is the prompt bar, where you will write the detailed command for the AI about the image you want to create. I'll paste my prompt here, but first we need to upload the original image so the AI knows exactly our reference point to create a similar image. We just need to click on Image Guidance, then click on Upload Image. Now we select the image we want and upload it. I'll upload the image I downloaded earlier, and as you see, the image has been successfully uploaded. We have two options. The first is the type of image we want to create. I'll set it to Image to Image. Next, we have the most important parameter of the image creation process, which is strength. Strength means how similar the new image will be to the original image. The higher it is, the more the new image will resemble the original, and conversely, the lower it is, the more freedom and creativity the AI will have, resulting in a new image that will resemble the original less. Since this is a tutorial, we will create an image with very high strength and then with lower strength so you can see the difference in the final results. Let's create the first image. Suppose we want to turn this girl into a medieval warrior standing in the middle of a battlefield holding a sword. As you can see, I wrote in the command bar, create a woman warrior from the medieval years holding a sword and inside the battlefield. In general, the more detailed you are with the prompt, the more accurately the AI will know what you want to create. For this first image, I'll set the strength to 0.69, which is quite high, especially for the changes I want to make to this photo, and then I'll click Generate. To see all the images I've generated, I just need to click on Generation History, and here are the images generated. As you see, they are not what we requested. Why is that? because the strength was too high for the changes I wanted to make, which didn't allow the AI to change the background and the entire theme of the image, as I requested. Now let me show you what happens when I lower the strength. We'll go back here, 
where you can also adjust the strength and lower it to 0.7, then click Generate. Look at those pictures. They are fantastic. Very close to what we requested. You need to remember that when using an image generation tool, you might not get the result you want on the first try. You may have to go back and adjust the settings in the prompt multiple times until you achieve the exact result you want. Here is the result after adjusting the strength down to 0 0.10.